Hi, my name is Eddie Peterson, and I'm the sales manager at Farmdroid. The Farmdroid FD20 is the world's first autonomous seeding and weeding robot. It was designed to help farmers reduce or completely eliminate the need for manual labor in sugar beets. Since then, we have moved on to not only sugar beets, but also other crops like onions, spinach, kale, rapeseed, and different kinds of herbs. Basically, we say that if we can seed it, then we can also weed it. The unique thing about the Farmdoid FD20 is its capability to perform both seeding as well as inter-row and intra-row weeding without a camera system, but only on high precision RTK GPS. The Farmdoid FD20 is fully electric and operates completely CO2 neutral. The solar panels are connected to a battery bank, which ensures up to 24 hours of daily operation. During the day, the solar panels charges the batteries for the night, and if the robot runs out of battery, it will stop, apply its brakes, and continue its work when the sun comes up. The robot doesn't need any external charging, but can be left in the field from when the season starts until it ends. For navigation, the robot uses our own high-precision RTK GPS system. The two antennas, one here in the back and one in the front, is connected to a base station like the one I have here, which is installed at a farm within 10 kilometers of the field where the robot is operating. For the robot to know where to work, it needs to know the corner points of the field as well if there is any obstacles. This will create a geofence for the robot to work within. The Farmdroid FD20 is a lightweight robot with a weight of only 800 kilos, which ensures it doesn't destroy the microstructure of the soil. It has a variable working width of up to 3 meters and can be configured with 4, 6 or 8 rows of tools. It runs at a low speed, up to 900 meters per hour, which means that the robot can handle up to 6 hectares per day in optimal conditions. The idea of the Farmdroid FD20 is to fight the weeds while they are still small, which is why we recommend one robot for each 20 hectares. One robot can be programmed to work in several fields, so that the 20 hectares can be on multiple fields and in multiple crops. The Farmdoid FD20 is designed to work at a slow, steady pace, and because it's lightweight, it will stop within a few centimeters if it comes into contact with an obstacle. If pressure is applied to this safety wire surrounding the robot, the robot will stop, apply the brakes, and send a message to the farmer that an emergency stop has happened. It will not be able to run in auto mode before the farmer has manually reset the weeding wire on the robot. Another safety system on the robot is that it's not capable of running outside its geofencing. So if one of the GPS antennas on the robot comes outside the geofence, the robot will again stop and apply the brakes and send a message to the farmer. It will then have to be moved manually back into the field and put in auto mode again by the farmer himself. To be able to perform both inter-row and intra-row weeding without a camera system, we had to design a high precision seeding system that knows exactly where to place each seed. When setting up the robot, the robot creates a perfect seeding pattern over the field so it knows exactly where each seed is located. The seeding system is able to perform both single seeding, seeding in portions, and also seeding in lines. Distance between the seeds or between the portions can be adjusted to fit the farmer's preferences. Here we have one of the seeding units. On top we have a seed container for the seeds to be filled in. The seed falls from the seed container down to the electrical seed motor in here, and then sends it down this tube down to the seed valve down here. The seed valve is located only two or three centimeters above the ground, and from the geometrical pattern we looked at before, the robot knows exactly where to open the valve and where not to. 
There is an infrared sensor in here that detects if a seed drops. So if a seed doesn't drop, it will send an error message back to the computer in the robot to make sure that we don't have any seeds missing in the field. In the front, we have two roller discs here, which is used to cut open the soil. And behind that, we have a furrow opener, which ensures to keep a perfect V-shaped line for the seed to drop into. Behind the seed valve here, we have the seed pressure wheel, which is used to put pressure on the seed and push it down into the wet soil. After seeding, the robot knows the exact position of the seeds. That means it doesn't have to rely on a camera for crop recognition when doing the weeding. The Farmdroid FD20 can perform both blind weeding as well as inter-row and intra-row weeding. The inter-row weeding is performed with these weeding wires here, which is able to cut both smaller weeds but also bigger weeds like thistles. The intra-row weeding is performed with this weeding knife that goes in and out of the row. Because we don't rely on a camera system, we are able to start the weeding process even before the crop is visible. That means that we are able to protect the crop from the weeds, which gives the plants the best possible conditions to fight the weeds. In 2020, the FarmDot has been running in seven European countries and more to come next year. The FarmDot is not only good for the environment, but it also delivers a highly attractive business case with a return on investment down to two years. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.